Hi students, welcome to this video session. My name is Samuel Chuku Emeka. Some of the projects that you will present and defend in class will be done in Visual Studio environment. And you shall do these projects with a programming language called Visual Basic. Now, what is Visual Studio? Visual Studio is an IDE. IDE means Integrated Development Environment. You can also call it Interactive Development Environment. What the IDE is a software application that has a comprehensive set of tools or facilities for software development. So the Visual Basic is an IDE. It has all the tools that you need to build software or to develop software. Now, what is Visual Basic? Visual Basic is a high-level programming language that is used to build applications. Applications or what you call apps. The applications could be desktop applications or mobile applications or web applications. Now, you know that the current trend now is how you can build and develop mobile apps. For our project, we shall be concerned with building desktop applications, Windows Forms desktop applications using Visual Basic. So we need to install Visual Basic. We open up our uh, internet browser uh, you can either type in Visual Studio, as you may know, Visual Studio and Visual Basic, they are all uh, products of Microsoft. Or you can either search it here or you can type in www.visualstudio.com. Now, if we type it in in Google or Bing or Yahoo, we search this. And we are interested in visualstudio.com. So we click on it. When we click on it, we see several products from Microsoft. When we click downloads, we will also see several products from Microsoft. Now, we are not interested in Visual Studio. Like I said, we are interested in Visual Basic. So we scroll down and look for Visual Basic. So the Visual Basic that we see is the Visual Basic 2010 Express. We click on it. We make sure that the download language is in English and we click on Install Now. When you click on Install Now, you now save the file. You save it. I am using Windows 8. But you can also use Windows 7 to do the same download and it will work fine. So what I will do now, I'll go to my downloads so I can open it. And this is the file I just saved here, vb underscore web. So I double click on it. I click yes. And it is installing the components. It is downloading and installing it. Then uh, a new window comes up. Now you may choose to send information about your experiences 
to Microsoft or you may choose not to. Uh, for this, I choose not to. So I uncheck this box and then I click next. Now you carefully read the licensing terms. Okay, you have to read the license terms and after reading it, if you choose to accept it, you click I have read and I have read and I accept the license terms. Now, if you do not accept it, then you will not be able to download it. Just know that. So when you check this box, when you check this box, you now click next. And this is the folder Microsoft Visual Studio 10.0. This folder will be installed in this folder on the C drive. Okay? So you go and click on install. And you wait for some time and relax. When you have finished, it tells you that the setup is complete. Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express has been installed successfully. So you click on exit. When you click on exit, you now want to uh, go ahead and open the uh, Visual Basic program. Now, if you are using Windows 7, you will have to uh, go to programs and you go to, uh, when you go to programs, you will see the Visual Basic that was installed, Visual Basic 2010 Express. That is, if you are using Windows 7, you have to get it uh, by clicking on the uh, programs but if you're using Windows 8 what you can do is you just move to the uh, topmost edge or the down downmost edge and this will come up you click search when you click search you just type in visual basic visual basic and it comes up visual basic 2010 express you right click on it Right now, we are just concerned with the Visual Basic 2010 Express that will give us what we need. It is one of the uh, simple programs you can work with that is effective, that works in your majors, in your different uh, fields of study, and your different majors in the criminal justice field, in a social work field, in communication field, you can. There are so many applications of Visual Basic software applications that you can use in all those fields. So this is what we need here. Don't bother yourself with all these. So we want this to be handy. We don't want all the time. We go and we bring. Uh, we go and we click on search to bring it out. We don't want that. So what we can do is to pin it to our task manager. So we just right click. And when we right click, we just pin to task bar. Task bar is what I mean. I'm sorry. You pin to task bar. So you have it right here. There it is on the task bar so that you will always have the shortcut. This is the shortcut. So what you need to do now, let's go ahead and open up this. Head and open up Visual Basic. Now. When you open up Visual Basic, this is what you see. Uh, you want to first of all go ahead and register this. Now, this Visual Basic 2010 Express is free for 30 days. After that, it will require a registration key. So you click on Help. And when you click on Help, you click on Register Product. You want to go ahead and register it. Uh, what you want to do now is to go ahead and have a registration key so that you won't have to uh, re register it at a later date. So, and the registration is free anyway. So, this is free. You click on help and you click on a register product. So, you want to obtain a registration key online. Now, you, should, you will have a Microsoft account. In order to obtain a registration key, you will have a Microsoft account. Hotmail, which is now Outlook. Okay? And you want to go ahead and sign in. You come, you get a form. 
and you complete it for your case you will have to you know check uh, you probably might check absolute beginner or you can check beginner it does not matter projects you can check school projects in that one okay and you might want to check this as well now if you don't have a Microsoft account you can go ahead and create one okay and later you click on continue so it gives you the product key right here it tells you to copy and paste the product key so all you need to do you cop you copy this key copy and then go to VB here and paste it and you click register now click yes and you have registered the product now if you click on help register product it tells you that you have already registered Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express so that was successful I've installed Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express just click on file and exit